Kane, how does it feel to, to be back playing in Western Australia and playing with an AFL team? Yeah, really good. Um, good to be back home, five years in Melbourne. Um, good to come back to the West and get another opportunity with the Eagles, so really excited. Can you tell us, with the Carlton experience, what happened there? Because, I mean, you had such huge reps on you as a player, you are such a star as a young kid. What, in your mind, what, was, what, what happened? Yeah, it was a bit of an indifferent time. I um, started off um, quite well in my first two or three years and um, had a few injuries throughout. And um, Yeah, I guess just things happened in footy. It was pretty dynamic and um, didn't work out for both sides of us. I wish um, it went better. Um, obviously, first round draft pick, there was a few expectations and um, probably didn't live up to them, but um, I think a change in scenery in a fresh environment would be really good, so yeah, really excited. What did you learn from it, Kane? Uh, a lot. Um, I went through a lot of different experiences in terms of injury and, and um, so all sorts like that, so um, the mental side of the game where the public don't see a lot of it, I learned um, a lot about mental strength and all that sort of stuff, so um, although it was a quite challenging experience, it was um, it was good to go through and I think I'm better for it. So. Well, coming back here make life easier. I know it's always going to be hard to play AFL footy, but will it make life easier and make it maybe easier for you to play more regular footy? Yeah, definitely. Um, just the small things that you don't really think about when you get drafted. Um, just having the support of family and friends and um, things like that will make it so much easier. So um, really looking forward to it, yeah. Who would you play with here at the Eagles or who do you know quite well that might ease the... Yeah, I was walking through um, and I knew a lot of the boys, played a lot of junior footy, um, Brad Shepherd, Josh Hill, uh, Sharon Wellingham, so um, a few familiar faces and good to walk into a club where you know a few people and it makes it a little bit easier. So, I guess Brad Shepherd in particular he came through at East Mount, pretty much made your waffle debuts in pretty close to the same games, didn't you? Same year, same 18s team? Yeah, me and Brad um, played at East Fro, played seniors together and I'm um, in the under 18s championship, so um, also got drafted together and um, yeah, we're probably at the same phase in our career and um, around the same game mark. So yeah, I'll cling to Brad and um, hopefully we can do some, some good games this year. Did you have any concerns when you came off the list at Carlton that that was it, that that was the end of it? Um, yeah, it's always worrying. Um, from the review at Carlton, I was kind of under the expectation that they were going to um, pick me, I'll stay at Carlton. I said I was a required player and things kind of changed um, through trade period. So. Um, when it happened, I was a little bit anxious and it's an anxious time, but um, thankfully things worked out well and it's good to be back home. What have the Eagles said to you, Kane, about where you might play and what the future holds? What's, what's their plans for you? Yeah, being a mature age rookie, um, obviously I'm a few steps ahead, ahead of the young kids just in terms of body and um, my physical and stuff. So I'm just looking to get my confidence up early and start playing some really good footy and try I work my way into the team. I think there's a spot there that I can fulfil, so I'm just going to work really hard and um, try to make an impact. In the midfield, definitely? Yeah, yeah, in the midfield. So. And is it fair to say that you finally got to the club you probably wanted to go to when you were in Perth originally? <laughs> um, yeah, it's always good to, to stay at home, but um, going in the draft, you know you could end up anywhere, but um, yeah, Perth's at home, and it's a really good place, and um, yeah, I'm glad I'm back, so it should be good. Did you follow the Eagles as a young, young fella? I did, yeah, yeah, that was the team I followed. My sister worked at Fremantle for a little bit, but um, that didn't stop me, so yeah, it's good. What changed during the trade period that you thought you were staying at Carlton and then didn't end up? Uh, so I think they were telling um, a few guys at Carlton the same thing, Brock McLean and Mitch Robinson, that um, we'll kind of acquire, but I think um, we're doing the numbers that didn't quite add up, that enough players were going to make the list. So um, once that started to happen, we were starting to talk and um, yeah, it was kind of adamant that a few of us wouldn't make the list. So um, started to look elsewhere and yeah. Were you surprised you were in the gun though? Were you actually a bit surprised that you were one of the ones that might um, A little bit, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's um, once you get told you're a required player for the next season and then all of a sudden um, get the chop, it's a bit surprising, but um, like I said, there wasn't much I could do the season was over, so and it's a great opportunity to come back to a, a great club and start over here. So Your name was called out yesterday and I'm told you turned up at training, is that right? Yeah, um, 8 o'clock or 10 past 8, so straight into the track and had a training session yesterday, so body's a bit sore today, but um, yeah, looking forward to it. Does that show the enthusiasm that you want to make this one 
you know, this post a winner? Yeah, second chances um, don't come along often. And I've seen at Carlton, guys like Andreas Everett and Sam Doherty made the most of theirs last year. So um, I'm hoping to do the same this year and really make an impact and um, make a long career. Injury-wise, can you just talk us through some of the issues you had at the Blues and how frustrating that was? Yeah, um, so I had a double hip orthoscope in my first year and that set me back quite a bit. Um, obviously tore my hamstring three or four times in my first two years as well, so that wasn't great. But um, in the last two years, started to manage my body and find out what worked for me. So um, I'm confident that it'll be able to stay on the track and, and play games. So looking forward to it. You said you learned a lot. What were you, in terms of your approach, what would you do differently, do you think, in your time at West Coast compared to your time at Carl? Um, I'd probably just um, stay engaged the whole time. You know, there's a lot of highs and lows in footy and um, you can tend to shy away from issues that are confronting. So um, whether it's a bad game or you're not in the form you want, I'm just going to stay engaged and keen to keep improving. So um, that'll probably be the one focus that I'll work on this year. Have you grown, Kane, since you've left as a youngster? Yeah, definitely. Um, I went over to Melbourne as a fresh cut 18 year old and um, didn't know much about the big world. So come back um, a little bit wiser, I think, and um, able to cope with different situations and handle people a lot better. So really excited. There is an expectation with being a first round draft pick. Will you be able to be a bit more relaxed about it this time, do you think, as well? Yeah, look, I've still got um, big expectations on myself personally, but like you said, as a first round draft pick, the public and the club that you go to their fans have expectations. But um, as a rookie here, I can have big expectations on myself and probably not as much external pressure. So um, yeah, I can just work away as hard as I can in the sidelines a little bit and um, try to do my thing. Just back on the Blues, how did they kind of break the news to you and, and were they apologetic about um, how it all turned out? Or? Yeah, I was a bit the same as Brock McLean actually. Um, I didn't really get a phone call from the coach Mick, but um, the CEO uh, rang me while I was in Bali on a family holiday, so that was a bit of a dampener. But um, yeah, that's the way it ends up. And uh, footy's a pretty tough business, so um, yeah, I just got a call from Andrew McKay and um, just said thanks for your five years service and everything you've done. So um, yeah. And if you still not spoken to Mick at all? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Did you train during the off season on your own? Yeah, um, obviously being a, a mature player, I've done five pre-seasons and um, I just want to keep a base fitness because I know how hard pre-seasons can get. So, um, of course, you can't simulate training like these guys do every day, but um, I did a lot of track running, swimming and weights. So I think my base fitness is there good enough. Just got to get the training loads up and get the kilometres in the legs. How hard was that mentally going through that process every day with no guarantees at the end of it? Yeah, it was pretty tough. Um, I was running in Melbourne and there was, I was Sam Blees was there and he was in exactly the same situation. So um, we were kind of running together and sharing each other's, picking each other's brains a bit. And um, we still feel we had a lot to offer and um, we had a lot to offer in our careers. So we were working pretty hard. And um, if anything, it probably makes you hungrier and you don't take things as light. Um, yeah, you're a lot more desperate. So. I think that's going to shine sh sh through this year, so yeah. Where are you living now? Are you with family? Yeah, with the parents at the moment, just till Christmas. Um, it's pretty hard to, to stay in the nest after living away for five years, so <laughs> um, they mean well, but um, <laughs> just uh, the little thing. So I'll stay there till Chrissy and then look to move out uh, somewhere and I'm sure I'll be over there every night for a feed, but um, yeah. Looking forward to it. Have you looked at the draw and seen when the Carlton games are and when you might come up against Mickey? Yeah, we've got, I think we've got them round till the NAB Cup um, and then round till the AFL season. So, um, best case scenario, uh, hopefully I'm lining up against them and having a, having a good crack against them. So, it'll be interesting, but we'll see what happens.